Okay, so let's start with our empty scene. We go here under assets, we have here our scenes and we go to the sample scene. When we go to the sample scene, we have here an empty scene, but let me just delete that one. So here we are now on the empty scene. So let's get started with were the most important things you need to import and um, just to mention it there are different ways uh, to deal with it and there are even more minimal than what I am telling you now but for me I think for a beginner it's good if we have the minimal that is um, that is set in the home page that I will link you down in the comments so, first of all, we need a camera. So, let's go to the camera and we drag the regular camera into our scene. So now we have the camera. Again, if you would like to do it by yourself, you can do your own camera and maybe just import the camera controller and that's it. But in our case, um, I would also like to have a parallax camera and have the rest already in there. And if we have the prefab, why not use it? Now, the second thing we need is to have the UI camera, which is this one. On the prefabs, GUI, you can drag and drop your UI camera. So, and here again, you can do even more minimal, but I suggested for advanced people and you would only need the input manager. But now that we have here our UI camera prefab, I think it's a good thing to use it. So what does it contain besides of the input manager, which will manage the input uh, for, the, uh, for the controller of the player? And you can expand that and see that we have a canvas. Do you see that in here? Okay, let's take this game here and move it down here. That's how I like it. So. Uh, you see this uh, corgi mascot with the health bar, with the um, jetpack bar, with the uh, FPS, so how many frames per second, and the, um, the score that you have. That's already built in. You see that is part of that canvas. So you can imagine that above the camera you put a layer which is the UI camera see and so if let's say if you wouldn't like to have here um, all this all these uh, fancy things you can just deactivate the canvas and then you have it empty or you can even dig a little bit deeper and say well um, I don't like to have this uh, this head because that's not my character so I can take that out and then you have here an empty screen but well even then it's a little bit odd you would need to maybe also take that one out yeah I think there would be a little bit more work than just uh, deactivating them but you can just also say I don't need any of those right you understand a little bit the concept of the of the UI camera I hope so. So at the moment I like that and it's good for testing because it tells you how many frames per second, so how fast it performs and it shows you the score and the health. So even for testing uh, purposes I would keep it. So the next thing I would like to use is the game managers. So the game managers, it's um, something that handles the high level stuff like the time management, the sound management and the ga game management. So, and also the achievement, if you play and you get first triple jump or something like that, that's something that is here in the achievement rules. And this is an absolutely optional one. 
but until you have not understood what it's in there I would suggest you just drag and drop that into your scene. So there are only two things left to do for, for setting up the minimal scene and that's the level start and the level manager. I will tell you how I deal with this situation. I have here the level start and I will drag and drop it in here and you see we have already created automatically one new game object which contains the level manager. You could also just go in here and create an empty one and add the level manager, but well, I'm lazy. Oh man, delete that. So in here we have the level manager which handles the level bounds and other stuff. And I will name that accordingly, level manager. Very well. So that's it. And the second one is the level start. When you start a level, he will take exactly that position and your prefab that you will add into this, uh, and this into the Corgi engine will start from where you have the level start. Now you see in here we have the level manager in here and the level start in there. Uh, let's say I would have done everything and we have our character and everything set up and I will click on play then we will fail, we will be in a loop because he will always try to start with uh, in here with the um, prefab but it will be outside of the level bounds which means your character will be automatically dead and will respawn where? outside of the level bounds and that will keep forever. So um, how to deal with that situation? You go to the level manager, you see where the position is, it's zero, 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 and then you go to the level manager, uh, the level start and click here on reset to set it also in zero, zero, zero. And I will do the level start as child from the level manager. So that's it at the moment. So we have set up the minimal scenes. Now we can start to get a little bit more creative and start creating our character. I will come later to the things like the level bound where you can extend or ooh, increase your level and highness and how you can deal with it later.